As a grade school student, Richard Rudnicki was part of a letter-writing campaign to then Prime Minister John Diefenbaker, asking to protect the horses on Sable Island. And instead of going to the glue factory, they will be as free as the wind. Sable Island, a strip of wind-swept sand surrounded by 300 years of shipwrecks. It's a breeding ground for gray seals and birds, and yes, those wild horses dating back to the 1700s. Now, more than half a century after Richard Rudnicki wrote one of those letters, Sable Island is Canada's 43rd national park. It deserves to be a park. It's a unique, special place uh, in the entire world. On all of Earth, it's, it's, there's nothing else like it. Until now, pretty much anyone could go to Sable Island, although given its location and the elements, it's never been easy. Now, you'll need permission from Parks Canada. Obviously, to stay overnight, it would cost, um, and it also costs in order to get access to the island, but those are things we're going to be working out. Parks Canada vows to limit the number of visitors. A woman who has spent her career studying Sable Island is confident it'll work. You could probably have more visitors to Sable. You could have an increased uh, level of visitation without, but probably with having less impact uh, than, than you know, we've been having over the past few years. A tour company is already planning cruises to Sable Island, landing using zodiacs like they currently do in places like Greenland. But tourists won't be allowed to trample the dunes, and they'll have to give the seals and those horses a buffer zone. I think about those horses and the only man that can save them. It's a case of life imitating art. Rudnicki's wife once illustrated a children's book about that letter-writing campaign to help save the island all those years ago. An island that, as you look around their home, has so clearly touched this couple. This incre incredible, unique treasure. We're lucky to have been there. And now that it's being protected, they hope someday you can go and enjoy it too. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.